Hey guys, so since I last uh, vlogged on this um, Galaxy Top 30 challenge, um, well, since my peak, I've lost about 100 rating points. My rankings dropped from about, I don't know, I think 40th at peak to 78. Um, but I've been playing really well. Like the last, these are the last matches I've played 1.08, 3.86, 1.9, 3.2. Well, there were some short matches there with zeros or whatever. Uh, one or two bad ones at six. Um, but even after this, my ratings dropped about 30 points in these last 25 matches, even though it feels like I've been playing super well. And um, um, so I'm just trying to set up a game here. And because I haven't been doing so well, um, I went back in the lab with XG, played 400 games. Uh, Parsi, he's a pretty pretty good player actually. Uh, I think maybe I've even played him on the vlog before. But I went back in the in the lab and played 400 games against XG. 200 games thinking slow, 200 games thinking fast, which was like instantaneous moves. And um, I played three and a half thinking slow and 3.75 thinking fast, um, which is pretty decent, I think. Obviously, I want to get down to three would be my goal. Um, anyway, let's see how we do here. So, four, three to open up. Uh, this is a speed game, I think. Yeah. Okay, so the vlog should flow nicely. Decent pace. Just all the four store um, no brain moves and play automatically with no comment and try and s stop and slow down and think. Where I need to. Kind of tempted to come up, but I think that doesn't give him a good four from the bar. It's with the threes, not the fours. Fours he needed to enter. So this is a nine point. So I haven't actually played matches for a while. I've been playing mostly money games on XG. Just got to get back into match mode. Let's play with escape. We can make those points later. Do I want the 12 point? Maybe not. No shots. It's worth the shot. I got a new speaker, a microphone. I hope the sound quality is a bit better. Uh, a couple, couple of you in the comments uh, said it could be better. Any other comments about how I can make the vlog better, more useful for you, please just shoot them uh, in the comments below on YouTube. Not feeling fully alert yet this morning. Something I discussed on the Galaxy Forum um, was how in those 400 money game sessions I played against XG, they were in batches of 25. I seem to zone out. Like, how do you focus? How do you man maintain focus even in a match? So this is pretty close to a cube. He's going to start wasting. Maybe I'll give it one more. Uh... Fine, no bad shots. Ten pips up and he's stuck behind the prime. So it's pretty close. This could be a cube, I'll give it one roll hopefully. Better to concentrate on distribution, not to leave shots. Uh, 
kind of worry too much about leaving the blots on your inner board when you're ahead in the race. If he runs, you might cover them next time and then attack him. So now I think 14 and he's about to waste is enough. It seems like a pretty easy take when I've got all these points to clear. He's got race equity. Don't really want to burn off the six, don't want to break the board. Let me just clear a point. Sometimes it's right to leave the eight and play another one if he goes up. Uh, 72, I don't want to race, isn't enough, I've got a hit. And also leaving the spare on the eight sometimes gives you an extra shake for a double without risking anything. I think the race was close enough, I just want to clear the points. Do we hit or not to hit? I think we hit because he can enter back on the five point which is safe for us one to take it off but I think at least bird six five that gives me an extra builder it takes a man off no. want the builder comes in on the ace as well. Not sure why, but I don't think I played that game, this game all that great. Uh, I think there may have been a couple of technical errors or something. Just waking up. Be super disappointed if I don't play in the threes at least. I mean, I guess the mode of the the frequency of the games I play is going to be you know two or three, probably with a three hand. Or the reason the average is only say three and a half is because you have the occasional five six or something like that, which drags it all up. But most of the time, just playing normal game. I'm not even thinking too much, I should be playing in the threes. To get down to a low threes on average is still quite a way away from me. But if I keep working, why not? Make the three, lose the spare on the eight, no. Actually, yes. Uh, Marginal. This keeps the five point or four point, but I'm not sure. I mean, this keeps the, the four point slotted, I mean, not the three. So many games come down to holding games. It's got to learn them technically, you know, not give away equity in them super important because even though the equity swings on each play non volatile position aren't that huge they add up it's not like prime versus prime where you're gonna you have the chance to um triple blunder or something but even the point zero threes and they happen so often with such regularity 
Now, so I keep the spare there and go like this. Immediately bad 6 1. Let's try this. It's not that bad for the race. I mean, burning to the. I mean, the board of the other play wasn't great anyway. Probably wrong though, actually. It's okay to leave the blocks, he's not running, or if he does, it's a mistake. Looks like double pass. Must admit, I don't know the equities for something like six away, nine away. I think I've learned them all for the seven point matches. Still not a match specialist enough to know that. I'm not sure how much value it would add if I did. Maybe someday. Not many shots missed there. One, three, six is double two. It's 28. Noticed in those long sessions I played just how much equity you get from making that 18 uh, often trumps the, the short term play on the board or making a point or hitting, which you can often do later. And once you have it, it's okay to play a little bit liberally because you can just come back in. I think people definitely underweight the value of the 18. Forced to play well, hit and slot, why? Whoopsie daisy. Hmm. Easy take for money, but when I'm up 3 0, we gammoned a bit here. He's got ones, threes, fives to cover, twos to hit. Don't really like my structure of the stripped eight, six, six. Four six eight. There's so much gain. I'll give it up. Maybe wrong, but I think I needed a bit more uh, development. Notice the machine without doing the, the maths up in a match, anything gammonish just seems to like pass it insta, insta passes. Sit on that lead, don't let him come back in. The difference between 3 0 and 3 1 is probably not that much. Thinking about hopping up, it's too many shots. I think this is gives me a nice distribution. I need 24 shots. This one's an easy take, it's just one man back. Uh, he's stuck back here on the four. I've got a nice structure, I'm not even sure it's a double, even if he covers. He's only got a four point board and I can come back in. The 
this was my first instinct one six two five three four one three two three double three is eleven plus the fours here it's fours duplicated, but fours three one one two now. It's just better. Now I'm in great shape. Never gonna cube in this game probably when you three one up and some gammons take you to seven one anyway. You cube to four, it comes back in your face at eight. I do this, the game, and hits with fours and nines, anchors with ones. Just leave it there, the five prime. He needs these shots to. Yeah, this duplicates six is one six two. Quite good duplication there. Maybe Miwat stay back and come down to the ten and just play super aggressive. Five prime will go for gamma. No, six prime will go for gamma. I do this and he comes in and enters. One six two five two six. I don't love it. Now let's lock up the game. You never know, we might win again anyway. Minimum five wide up to nine. Not sure about some of these plays this game. Whether I was right to hit any of the shot, just keep the primes in a few of the moves, but we'll have a look afterwards. Got to worry about the clock a bit, 48 seconds and still quite early in the match. But even if I get down to 10, 15 seconds, I can play into the last few games. I have to, four, three points staying, and the ones. My first instinct was to stay, but maybe he gets to hit and lift. Might have been right to stay anyway. Rolls five something. Do a slot. No, if I slot, it takes the pressure off here if he hits. Actually, it is only 35 seconds left. I better play a bit more, talk a bit less. Usually it's not right to load the six, but here it keeps the prime for longer. Um, like I would play six to four normally, but his board's gone and I want to keep the prime to go for the gammon. Still may have been wrong. Triple for match. You never know. Got a shot at it. Oh. Two one, three one, four one, five one. Shouldn't call opponents bad numbers. I'd never do that over the board, but you can't hear me now. Meanwhile, seven one. It's a good start. Probably about eighty percent. Very good to see. MWC match winning chances two away, eight away. 
maybe maybe through something in something in that region. Escape or hit. Amazing when you play a lot of that game, especially against XG and these long money sessions, just how many plays. Maybe I can play quicker and play well in general, but not give away too much compared to thinking really slow because just so many other plays become automatic. Just like thinking less. Play the Shuet Zizka, Zednik Zizka, number one on the site, was in London. And um, he plays super quick, and it just the game makes the game feel so easy. But he just he just knows most of the positions. There's nothing to think about, you know. When you get to that level, I guess the more knowledgeable you are. I mean, some top players play slowly, but not many. Or they're capable of playing fast if they want. They just double check everything. Obviously, the cube never in play this game five. I could hit here, but this is so strong. I can go after him later. Unless he rolls double one or two one or something, double two. Split or slot. Hmm. This could be wrong because I'm prime. Kind of, I need to roll sixes, but. Just want to try and make the six prime and worry about that later. It shouldn't be hard to get out. Put on auto roll, I'm never cubing this game. The score as it is for the same reasons as last go. It's looking like it was a pretty quick match. Oh, I hate it when they say thank you before I've won like so many times. You could just like leave a shot in the barrel for even from here, he's got three or five percent wins or whatever. He hasn't had many decisions to make this game either, so it's not really clear whether I've won the PR battle, even if I've won the match. Didn't really see any errors. Wasn't focused too hard on his plays. Sometimes I do, just because when I analyse it, I can learn twice as much. If I, I see all their decisions as well in the same time. I don't know, I guess blogging. On speed, uh, speed games is too much. So I wonder, maybe I didn't play this barrel quite aggressively enough. But played safe. I forgot. This was still going to win the gammon for the match. He's a favourite to save it now. You see, he said thank you, but it's only eight one Crawford. And how many times have we all lost from here? So what's he thinking about? Six and one. And what is it? Hardly leaves anything bad. He plays to his uh, three point on well, whatever. Oops. Oopsie daisy. If he played it the other way, would it have been better? No, this. That's a pretty sick way to lose <laughs> four three. Are there any other bad numbers here? 
can't see it immediately. All the six is taken off, all the five. Anyway, kind of academic. Let's open up an XG so we can. Um, oh, there you go. You see, so I played super well, 2.63, but the guy plays 2.53. He didn't really have any decisions. Um, and that's been like the story of my backgammon galaxy for quite a while where um, I'm playing well but my points are staying the same or going down the rating I guess I've just got to stick at it uh, I don't need to analyze this play let's just analyze there's not going to be too many errors oh four three on the third roll was an error how long has this vlog been going on let's just see only 25 minutes maybe I'll play a quick five pointer um, as that was quite quick five point speed maybe um, whilst we look through it uh, let's just decline them for a minute so I played 2.55 let's have a look um, through my errors uh, errors Four three, a double hit. Yeah. When I hit on the four and played thirteen ten, um, leaves you a bit stripped. And so, literally, so many returns, I can see why the double hits better. I did think about it, even though I didn't discuss it. And another reason why it's been hard to progress, by the way, in this challenge is because nearly all the time I come on and it's like 23, 2400 players that I get a game against. They're hardly ever any sort of players in my category or higher 2800 and when I play like guys that are 3000 I genuinely get outplayed uh, so there's no give me there um, so leaving the builder was the wrong idea probably because of the shots extra shots at the left and the other player gets a man off just small things really yeah I thought about this one for a while um, and I played in but it's better just to make the point straight away I guess you can just play off the 6 point next time and if it does leave a shot you've got the immediate 3 point board whereas the flexibility of coming to the 5 and um, also strips the mid so, so this was better you can see it now, I thought it was close 0.03, bit of a waste but that difference I would have won the match if I got that right uh huh Oh yeah, it duplicates the fours to hit and fours to make. I didn't see that. This just gives him too much. I mean, he did miss with a 5-2, but it was a miracle. Yeah, that makes sense. Three one. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this to be honest better coming in on the ace and round the corner where my play comes in get attacked with threes fives and sixes and, and stacks the mid this well the block's not wonderful here because it gives him three four five two six one six four it's a bit more flexible and i don't get attacked straight away just bide my time to come out it's a nice play should have four three That's the start that this was right. My play was wrong. Just too big leading. It's lots of those turnarounds. One six, two five, two six, two one. Yeah, it's just too many. Then you're winning the game anyway. And actually, like, if I do this, although I don't have the immediate threat of the bar, numbers like one six are horrible for him. Instead of being Look at the swing on one six between that play and that play. Just play too big. I noticed that in all those money game sessions I played that I hate making the ugly plays instead of play a little bit too pure sometimes. So that was almost a blunder. Double one. So that was better than that. 
very small difference. I guess I said, you stay prime, this is good enough, you don't really need to make the bar, you can attack him next time or just escape. Um, yeah. And that was it. Right. Um, can we find one more game? Uh, let's just create some more. Anyone to play in the lobby? There's a 3,000 player. He's beating up on a 2,000 player in a 25 point match. Uh, oh, here we go. This is not sure. I think maybe I played him before. 6 uh, 4. How long, how long a match is this? Five point match. Okay. Let's see how we do. So I'm playing okay, but I just need to lock back in that focus. It's all about focus now for me. How do I get the most out of what I've got? Apart from improving my practice time at other times. Comes to the edge of the prime in dupes threes. Sounds Greek, this is no. Uh, Scandi, Danish, 2670s is highest, good, decent player. I was actually, although I only went through the errors in that last game, not all the players, I was quite happy um, with the cube actions. I think I would have made some mistakes before in that, uh, maybe even taken that sort of gamelish looking position that I was pretty sure was a take for money. Would have queued probably a four year old that. It's too big. Five prime gives me sixes, ones. Do I need to do it? <sighs> probably the computer player. Is it up in the race? Do you want to leave all those shots? Me with a six. Come here, we've got returns, not the end of the world. Even with a two point lead, it's me with a one. Come. Five prime's a five prime. It's there for game, whatever your rolls. Maybe if I was split or something, I probably would have just made the safe play, but because I'm stuck back, I don't even have a three to, to make a, a six prime when he misses. Um, got a totally unbalanced game now, <clears throat> being um, so front loaded with the prime and stuck back on the ace with two, no midpoint, no split, no anchor. And would you call an ace point an anchor, by the way? If you've got two, uh, maybe I'm talking to myself, but you guys, I'm not sure technically whether the ace point's an anchor or not. do this in dupe sixes. I think it's kind of forced duplication but I just don't really want to be hit. And the twos are duped this way. Yeah I mean numbers like six, three you can't really run now. Uh, whereas you've been very happy to hit me. So you do make the bar. I still don't think I have a cube because it's got that four point anchor, I don't win many gammons. Even if I hit him, I've got to come out. Might be close, but that's not one of the best rolls. Um, I probably haven't lost my market by much, if at all. Yeah, he's got three behind the five prime. Look, he still took. Maybe it was a take. He's got the anchor. Right, two is double one, four, six at him. 
don't think I want that block floating around now. I've got low of the time now, but she's cracking it at six. Well, maybe not loads of time. Probably will double six. What do you do there? Do you? Anyway, uh, six one. Alright, now he's 1 0 up, so if he cubes me, the match is on the line. I can pass it to be 2 away, 5 away, 30, 50, 60, 60, 73. Um, so I need like 27% to take, is that right? Well, anyway, I think it's slightly harder than for money. He didn't even cube, no pressure. I think I would have taken. Sounds crazy, my mind's just completely zoned out thinking about other things, uh, even when I'm playing vlogging and so on. Uh, I know this is just a bear off and shouldn't make mistakes, but sometimes you just miss something you know, stupid in a position like this because you're not thinking. Don't really know how to get back in the zone except say, come on, come on James, like, get back to it. Maybe asking yourself questions all the time, like if you what to say, if there, it wasn't on Galaxy, like what's the pip count, or what's the score, and what's the, ma what's the match equity, who's got the better board, what's the state of the game, maybe just constantly asking questions like that can get you back in the zone, maybe force you to. So what's going on, just if I do this, I've got the anchor, but he just has everything. And if I come in, kind of blah. sure about this. He's got the block. Who always won something? So he's four away. I don't really want to get in gamblish positions, but actually when he's got no board and I've got lots of men back, I can make these anchors. I didn't manage it this time. Miles down the race. Just get attacked there. Oh, this feels right, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about that play. Can't think for too long when there's slight time pressure. I only played a nine point match, which was a quick one, and now a five point match, and my focus is going. I can feel it.
Don't know, I might see the queue, but I've got to take it when he's pulled away and I do lose some gammon, but that'll be handy for. Don't think I can just give that game up. It's the race. And you're down four. No gammons and holding the cube, I think that was right. Usually it's right to stay back, but I think holding the cube in a race that long was right to go. I wish there was just a finish game function like there is on XG or um, Games Grid used to be. But Galaxy do doesn't have it. I hate just clicking buttons in a. I guess I could resign game. Uh, what's going on here? I'm three away, two away. I guess I'll play the slightly more gammonish player. Which I don't want to get gammoned either. Really. Um, Obviously, I whip over the early cubes at three away, two away, but I think this would be too early, even with some. Oh! The freely play he made. I don't know why my first instinct was the three point there to leave more builders for the five next time, but. Oh, interesting. First instinct's the four point. Not bad. Uh, time running out. I'm just going to make a play. Would have liked to have. Uh, this could be a double even. Because I, I lose all the gammons for the match anyway. One six two five oh six looks nice. Hmm. Pretty early in the cube now. Yeah. I've got a feeling he might take this. Well, double match point, two away, two away, it's going to be. He plays by the book, cubes, what everyone does. Feels like he's played quite well as well. Who knows what will happen in the PR battle? Doesn't look like I can give up, give up much equity compared to him in this game when I'm on the bar. One, two. Do I hit to stop him making things? I've got no time, maybe the nine. Not in good shape now. It's desperate stuff. I've always got the deuce point anchor, 20% wins or whatever it is. Six prime, two, three. 
Ah, oh, come on, let's go for it. Give ourselves the best chance to counter prime. Hmm. Yeah. Came in. See that easy. Gonna be some hard plays now. I've got no time at all. It's containment games. Well, not if it goes like this, but. My PR is not going to be good this game. That worried about him making the ace point here with no board. And Well, it looks like I won a match, four seconds to spare. Did it give me any points? It's only a five pointer anyway. It's not gonna be a big swing, whatever happens. Thanks, thanks for playing. Um, okay, so I played him by a lot. Blog's been going on, must be an hour now. Uh, no, only 48 minutes, okay. So, let's open up an XG. Just have a quick look at this one. I must have made a few mistakes, probably not many blunders. I played 3.4. Galaxy, um, have a quick look. Wow, this was a take. What? Come on. Is that really a take? Um, Should we take in this, guys? Level race, two on the bar. Maybe he just hasn't got enough ammo in the zone. But it's not just a take, it's like a massive take. 1.59. Hmm. Tell you something, my local Shuet. You take that, um, you're invited back forever. Uh, let's just put it for money. It's curious. Borderline, no double for money. Take by point two. It's 
We're rolling out, out in the background, out of interest. Look at that. It's a nice position because it's a level race. Um, I guess you've just got so much life. And he's got three back and you've got the five points, so huge. I thought, I mean, for money, I could have taken this, but in a five point match, to go 4 0 down. Um, anyway, so I, got, I guess he passed it, did he? Yeah, and I got a lot of my equity in, in the match because he made a 0.16, so it's 0.2 for money even. It's not as bad at the score because the cannons aren't good for you. Um, where are we at? 4 3, yeah. 9 points. That's a big blunder actually, hitting. It's just too, too disconnected. I guess I'm winning the game anyway, I don't need to do that. 0.038, my equity is slightly positive, no need to overplay. Double one. What did I do? Yeah, this was the one I rushed. I was under real time pressure, I just made the four, but making the prime and step, stepping up, huge blunder. It's amazing I played 3.5, whatever it was, still making blunders like this. 